Since the beginning of time, the most important commodity for the human race has been drinking water. Clean drinking water can only be distributed to the consumer through clean water mains. Drinking water pipes of this quality are unable to reach the necessary European standards for drinking water and therefore they must be rehabilitated. Cement mortar lining is the oldest and most economical method of rehabilitating cast iron, steel and asbestos cement water pipes above or underground. This cement mortar lining protects the pipe from corrosion and incrustations, stops small leakages and improves the hydraulic characteristics. The following film demonstrates step by step the rehabilitation of drinking water pipes 400 millimeters in diameter. First, a nylon rope is pulled through the pipe by a battery powered ferret. The distance between excavations is the maximum possible length for cement mortar lining operations. The length between excavations varies according to the size of the pipe, 100 meters for small pipes and up to 500 meters for large pipes. A wire rope connected to the nylon rope is pulled through the pipe, starting the mechanical cleaning operation. Cleaning brushes are then pulled through the pipe in order to loosen incrustations, which are subsequently transported to the pipe's end by rubber plungers. Clean pipe collects these residues in a special vacuum cleaner, thereby protecting the environment. After the cleaning process, a video camera is driven through the pipe to check for cleanliness and to detect any remaining obstructions and leakages. The preparation for the cement mortar lining can now begin.
First, a cable bundle, which consists of power cables, remote control cables, and video camera cables, must be pulled through the pipe. For this pipe, 400 millimeters in diameter, Clean Pipe uses an electrically powered, self-steering, remote-controlled lining machine with a video camera. The hose and cables are connected to the lining machine. The machine is then put into the pipe and all functions are thoroughly checked, including the video camera. Next, the cement mortar is mixed. Quartz San, Dean 4226, Portland Cement, Dean 1164 in a one-to-one -one ratio, and drinking water without any additives are mixed in a special forced flow mixer. The cement mortar is pumped in a constant quantity to the lining machine. Before the machine is driven through the pipe, the quantity diagram and the mortar pump are checked. Now the operation begins and the cement mortar is centrifugally sprayed at high velocity onto the wall of the pipe. The thickness of the lining is determined by the mortar quantity per minute and the traveling speed of the lining machine, all under the watchful eye of the operator. Additionally, the quality of the lining is continually checked and recorded by the video camera. The lining can be smoothed with rotating trowels if the client wishes, providing that the pipe is round and without bends. The lining thickness, specified in the German specification W343, can be applied in one coating. The cement mortar lining protects the pipe from any new corrosion, inhibits incrustation growth, and doubles the life of the pipe. In comparison to laying new pipes or to other methods of pipe rehabilitation, cement mortar lining is the most economical method. Depending on the pipe's diameter, compared to laying new pipe, the costs of using mortar lining are from 15 to 50 percent lower. This can vary under certain circumstances. After the cement mortar lining is in place, the ends of the pipe are immediately closed to avoid contamination and to aid in the curing of the lining. Should it be necessary, the pipe can be put back into service 12 hours after the lining has been completed.